Well, anyway, we watched the three big matches to close out. Stardom Dream Queendom 2023. If I may, just for a second. Yes, Vinny, sir. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, I, I watched this two weeks ago. Yes, yes. And after I watched it two weeks ago, I was um, worried about coming onto the show because I was completely lost. All I know is I saw ladies wrestling well. I don't have any names. Sounds like a hell of a I, review we're going to have here today. I, I I don't have names. I don't I don't I don't know backstories. This is the first time I've ever ever seen Stardom. Yes, was what? a couple weeks ago. So, in in the in the post after after this, I actually went back and read some commentary on on some of it to try to familiarize myself with the product. But I I was I went in completely blind. All right. Well, in the future, Craig, you can do what I do, which is go to Wikipedia, which has the entire sure. card there. And that's all I did was copy and paste the, uh, you know, I had spoilers there, but that's fine. And I just copied and pasted things in there and did a quick five minute scan of each wrestler's page to find out what the hell is going on here. Okay. So, uh, yes, I got it here. It's a very quick five minute scan. It won't be anything deep. December 29th, 2023 was the date of the show. From a building I'm not sure I can pronounce, but apparently it translates to the big iron umbrella in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah. Julia versus Megan Bain for the Strong Women's Championship. Okay, I have a question right off the bat. All right. Brian, I've heard you and Tom talk about stardom many times. Is this Mega or is this somebody else? Mega. Is there, is there a wrestler named Mega? No, that was the uh, AEW attorney. Oh, that's right. Yes. Carry on. Megan Bain is uh, heading back to AEW. Okay. Correct. So there is at least that. All right. I and read that. Julia is uh, almost certainly heading to NXT. Yes. Also so uh, they're both on the way out. But they proceeded to have the best match on the show here. And it oh, was a, three. a very, hmm. very simple match. That's true. Megan Bain was the big powerhouse. Yep. yep. Julia sold and sold and sold. And then uh, and then Julia submitted her there at the end. But, like, it was fucking great. Sure. Like, there's no... I was watching it and, you know, sometimes, see, Julia is, uh, I think she was born in Italy. Uh, English-born, Italian-Japanese. Her okay. father, father's from Italy, mother's from Japan. But she was only there for like a little while, she so was, she speaks yeah. almost no English. Right. Like, she had a couple of words in her post-match promo and everything like that, but she she largely doesn't speak English. And I would presume Megan Bain doesn't speak Japanese. Uh, Megan Bain from Ohio Valley, trained yeah. by Rip Rogers and Nell Snow. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, uh, uh, you know, you you people always ask questions. How do two people that don't speak the same language have a match together? And it's a complicated question because, you know, in the old days when everybody knew how to work, you didn't have to speak the same language. You just went out there and worked. But, I mean, nowadays everybody has all these spots they want to do and everything like that, so... You know, usually sometimes you'll have a translator there going back and forth. But in this match, this was more an old school match. They didn't need to speak the same language for most of this. It was just Megan beating the shit out of her. Yes. And Julie would try to make a comeback and get the shit beat out of her. And then, you know, she made a big comeback there at the end. But the crowd was was super into it. It had great heat. The work was, I mean, everyone, everything, everyone did look great. And uh, I thought this was the best match on the show. This was a classic uh, big woman, little woman match in that Julia threw everything she had at this uh, brick wall. And everything she threw at the brick wall, she just bounced off yep. until um, she finally chopped her down to size and uh, got her finish. Yeah, uh, Wikipedia says Megan is 5'11". She looks no wow. less than 8'11 in this match. Correct. Just towering over her. Uh, and yes, they had a very simple story in that they, they did a very simple, effective David and Goliath match where uh, Megan was the unstoppable monster and she no-sells everything and can't go off her feet. It took her like eight minutes until Julia like hit a, uh, uh, was a Northern Light suplex. Oh, no, she got a suplex, excuse me. Uh, it was a simple cradle. She hit a missile dropkick that Megan no-sold and so Julia grabbed her and just did a basic cradle and took her down and unleashed some Ilya Dragon off ground and pound. And uh, it didn't last long. Megan just over, overpowered her, got back up and power bombed her. And uh, there was more power spots. We had the outside in deadlift suplex by Megan. Uh, she kept going for an F5. Obviously, that's her finish. 
uh, kept getting countered into a DDT and whatnot, and Julia used a Brian Danielson-style double arm lock thing. Uh, Megan gets out of that, gets a tombstone for two, finally hits an F5 for two. She's very angry at Julia for kicking out of that, so she gra drags her by the hair to the corner for a big top row spot, which actually got countered into a sunset bomb by Julia. And uh, <laughs> there was an like the greatest flying lariat you ever saw in this match. Julia is charging corner to corner like she's going to do a V-trigger or a spear or whatever. And Megan ran at her and did... It, it was almost like... It, technically, it was a lariat, but it was really more of a running high cross body where she just hit her with her arm instead of her torso. And Julia gets turned inside out and lands on her head. And uh, they're going back and forth. There's a wacky lucha guillotine. That uh, that's right. Julia had a running knee and the Northern Lights bomb that got a two count, and that would have been a perfect finish. But she didn't didn't miss a beat. Goes to the wacky lucha guillotine with a complicated, elaborate leg lock thrown in, and after a fight and a fight and a fight, the ref drops Megan arms three times. Megan's arm three times, and Julia gets the win. So uh, this is very good. I I I I I did not think it was the best match of the three we watched. What? I I like the main event, but uh, hmm. yeah, uh, it. This is very, very, a very, very good match, and uh, Julia, her her mother's Japanese. She looks more like her father, and you got, you got look very, very close to see a uh, a uh, Japanese resemblance in her or, or Japanese appearance in her, in her face or fa in her face. But uh, she's really good at this. She looks like what they want in NXT. Dude, she's the first well. time I ever saw Julia, I thought, "Why the fuck has nobody signed her yet?" And uh, now it looks like she's going to go to uh, WWE. And I think we talked about it on Saturday or Sunday. I have no problem with her going to NXT first. I think that she's going to end up doing great because, you know, Vince is gone. You don't have to speak English to get a push. You know, if you take Roman Reigns off SmackDown, like the, the weeks that Roman Reigns is not on SmackDown. When Roman is there, Roman's the main event. When Roman is not there, which is probably half the month or more, it's damage control. They're the main event act on SmackDown, and EO Sky is there, and Asuka is there, and Kyrie is there, and they're all getting main event pushes in the women's division, and uh, I think this is going to be a great thing for Julia, and I think she's going to be a big star in WWE. Orange sold the knee, which is, he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening what? here? I don't, what the fuck? What is, is going happening? On? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh my god. Maybe I you open don't know them. What is There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually the no! Oh. Okay. The sun will continue <laughs> to move and then we'll be able to see again. <laughs> We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.